Crawcode plugins are a feature that I think developers are really sleeping on. Us as a community are really sleeping on the benefits of having plugins. What are plugins? Plugins are a collection of commands, agents, skills, hooks, and MCP servers that you can share with the community or your team. Access them through marketplaces so you can have multiple sets of plugins attributed to a single marketplace that you own. There are various websites out there where you can go and browse different marketplaces and the plugins inside of those marketplaces. But the whole ecosystem is still a little bit messy. So hopefully in this video, we'll bring a bit of clarity to it, point you in the direction of not only finding plugins, but also creating them yourself. Good news is that since recording this video, they've updated the plugins discover page so you can discover marketplaces directly within Claw Code and I'll be releasing the plugin we create in this episode for you guys to download. Step one is to add a marketplace. So let's spin up Claude and type slash plugin. It's worth saying that it looks a little bit different now. Here's the discover page where we can discover marketplaces, something that wasn't available before. We can take a look at my installed plugins and we can take a look at my installed marketplace and it'll all start by adding a marketplace. And Anthropic have their own marketplace under Anthropic slash Claude code and you can see I've already installed it here or you can type slash plugin marketplace add anthropic slash Claude code let's take a look at what plugins they have agent SDK if you're if you're looking at developing agents there's there's a plugin to help you migrate from sonnet 4 and opus 4 into 4.5 there's a code review one which looks pretty cool I'm going to install that one commit commands explanatory output style feature development Front end design, I think I want that one. Hookify for creating hooks. Learning output style. Plugin dev for developing plugins. PR review toolkit, I might take that one. The Ralph Wiggum one, which is currently broken, I might take that one. And security guidance, I might take that one. If I hit I, then I'm installing those plugins. Now if we go back into the plugin menu here, we can manage our plugins. We've got them installed. Let's go into the root claw code folder here and into plugins, marketplaces, claw code, plugins, and then inside of plugins here, here we go. It's just a set of folders that contains, oh, there are some hooks as well, you can see as well. So it's a stop hook. So with all that, let's create our own plugin here. Plugin called 0x5m5 marketplace, because again, the marketplace encapsulates various plugins. We're only going to make one plugin in this instance, so let's crack on with that. Let's open up in code and let's create a folder called code setup. So here's an overview of the plugin folder structure. You've got basically a config file, manifest file here. We can add commands, we can add agents, skills, hooks. MCPs, LSP, we can have custom scripts, presumably, okay, for hook and utility scripts here, license file and change logs and things like that. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to push my own personal Claude MD file. So you've got that in the Git repo, but it won't read it as part of the plugin. I wish they, I wish we were able to do that. And then inside of here, a invisible folder called Claude plugin with a file called plugin.json. And this is just going to be a JSON file with a name that's going to match all of those. We're going to have, we'll have a look here and then we'll delete. So author is needs to be an object. And the name is going to be uh, Samuel Gregory. And I think that's pretty much it. And looking at these different file locations, you can override these if we come in here and go commands. If you had your own custom folder or, or however, whatever, you can then override them and it will look for these new locations. But the defaults work for us in this example, so we can remove that. Now let's link our plugin to our marketplace. Instead of our root folder, we're gonna type Claude plugin and then go marketplace.json. And here's going to be all about my marketplace. So the first one's going to be um, 0x5am5 marketplace. The owner is going to be moi. 
And now we're going to list out the plugins in an array called close Claude setup. So AI coming in clutch there. So the, again, the marketplace encapsulates multiple plugins. We've created a plugin called code setup that has its own plugin JSON file that just tells it about this individual plugin. We reference that plugin in the marketplace JSON, and then the code setup will contain at the moment, it just contains commands, but we're going to add MCPs, we're going to add sub agents, and we're going to add hooks as well. So let's add a custom command. So let's create a folder here called commands. And inside, we're just going to go hello.md. And if you've never written a command before, you need a bit of front matter here that just describes it. There are various options you can have here, such as the model, and we can make sure this always uses Opus 4.5, for instance, or you can inherit as well. And it's literally just like a base prompt. So this just greets hello. There's also a concept of arguments as well, which are really nice. You can access them all by just using uh, dollar arguments and that would be basically if we go uh, slash hello do this thing then an arguments will be replaced with do this thing you can access them individually as well by going dollar uh, one which will become do dollar two which will become this dollar three which will become thing so it's a really comprehensive and flexible way to create reusable commands which i really like so we're just going to use that here but let's actually add this and then you'll just see it come into place it's worth saying you can test the individual plugin with this command but we're going to add the marketplace because i want to eventually share the marketplace with you so if we go back here and launch claude and go plugin uh, marketplace add and then we can reference our local folder here which is well, actually can we just do that no so what we're gonna do we're gonna exit CD back Claude uh, plugin market place add and then just do 0x5m5 marketplace name cannot contain spaces okay so let's just real quick fix that name here we go code set up code set up um, this is going to be obviously from the root here and it's going to be called code setup and close that and then description will be coding setup plugin boom there we go we've added the marketplace so if we go here we uh, browse our marketplaces you can see I'm popping up there we've got our code set up press I to install and I should just be able to go code set up hello running there we go okay so now that we have our boilerplate I guess of a marketplace and a plugin all I'm gonna do right now is start copying in some of my chosen slash commands hooks things like that that I've stored on my computer that I can share with you guys I have a Claude code crash course Claude code college if you will which in time will be completely free on YouTube but if you want to get a head start head on over to patreon.com slash 0x5am5 subscribe to the advanced learners tier and you'll have early access to all of the lessons as soon as they become available once they're all done and I'm happy with the output only then they will get released on YouTube so head on over to patreon to get early access to the Claude code crash course I'm going to give you some agents here got an architecture security auditor duplicate file cleaner because Sometimes Claw code will just create duplicate files. It just goes through the code base and cleans them up. Front end architecture auditor just takes a look at the front end architecture, test writer, and TypeScript error resolver. This should be less uh, relevant with LSP support, but regardless, this is something I like to use. Commands question one basically allows you to answer a question without having to go into plan mode, without having to write. 
anything, just prefixes, don't make any changes of the code. So I'll leave that one in there. And Code Rabbit is another one that I like to use, which runs Code Rabbit in the background. A uh, hook that we've uh, I've stolen from Boris that basically just runs the npm format after it's done any editing or writing of the files. I put a dummy uh, skill in there as well. An LSP, which you're going to have to install with the code that's on the screen now, and a list of MCPs that I like to use. Ref is great for searching up to date documentation, uh, a lot more efficient, token efficient than something like Context 7. EXA is a code specific search tool as opposed to using just general search. This is only going to retrieve documentation, uh, question and answer results specifically for coding. SEMGREP is great for security and things like that. You will need to insert some of your, your API keys to use some of these services. They are free. And then Taskmaster is great for setting up tasks. I would say Taskmaster is one of those ones and SEMGREP that you probably want to disable most of the time, but they do come in handy when you need them. But what I'd really like is the ability to apply rules. Now I'll flash on the screen now my personal rules, which you can feel free to copy. If there was a way that I could include these inside of my plugin, that would be great. And realistically, I probably should change this to my code setup. So that's the name of the plugin. We'll rename the folder, my code setup. And then in marketplace, we're gonna go my code setup. If we exit Claude code here and reload it, let's see if it's picked up the changes. So installed marketplaces, we can update it. Updated one marketplace, let's have a look. So we've installed that now and you can see it's picked up on my coding setup, we need auth there, the MCPs are connecting, hooks are installed, and we should have some of our, uh, my code, code rabbit. Looks like we're all good. So now let's push this to git. Git init 0x5 m5 marketplace public um, initial commit. This is an alias I've got set up just to add everything. Doing also GitHub. And now with this git repo here, remove that DS store. Go to plugin marketplace and then we can paste our so okay sure let's remove that add a marketplace paste our url and we've got it installed and you should be able to just install this on your own claw code instance as I say, plugins are a very undervalued resource for sharing a set of hooks, agents, skills, code styles, MCP servers amongst your community, amongst your team members. So I hope this was helpful in you being able to create your own, share it amongst your team. And although we didn't go into too much depth, touch briefly on the various aspects of Claude Code and the tools they have to help you get your job done a lot better and write better code. So that'll be all this week. Like, subscribe and all the rest of it and keep on vibing.